Hello and welcome to my channel. I want to entitle this video Slow Down to Truly Focus or Things and People Will Inevitably Slip Through the Cracks. Rest and Being. Rest and Being is the focus here. Rest physically and mentally figure out how you can rest physically and mentally if we rest mentally we can sleep physically i think a lot of times well this is true for me is it true for you let me know in the comments below but a lot of times when i have too many things going on in my mind and i'm thinking about it seems like a thousand things at the same time it is hard for me to fall asleep so if we can get a good night's rest and have our mind be at peace we're going to be able to focus much better in the present moment and on the present task at hand that we have right before us and we can meditate regarding a bigger purpose for our life but it is also important because when we slow down, we're a lot likely, if this is true in my case, correct me if I'm wrong, is this not true in your case? But when I'm hurried, I'm a lot likely to forget something. Either if I'm going out, you know, out to shop or out to, if I'm not just hurried but anxious or if, you know, I've been in strife with someone, not getting along, have an argument, we're a lot more likely to forget something. I may forget to take a bag that I need or anything. I may forget my keys, right? In the end, it prolongs the process. And these are little things, little annoyances. But, you know, it's a principle. So, you know, there's a verse that says, He who is faithful in small things will be faithful over, you know, great greater things or he was faithful with a few things will be faithful with many things or with much he's faithful with little will be faithful with much so this can be a matter of life or death so we have to live according to this principle it's a principle of life slow down so that you can focus whenever we are hurried we are apt to forget or if we have an argument with somebody we're apt to not be focused if there's an emergency we're a lot slower in responding because we're not operating again from that place of what divine love the seven attributes it is true for dealing with friends it is true for dealing with co-workers. It is true for dealing with anybody anywhere. It is true for business. It is true for dealing with a spouse in marriage. And it is true for relating with and raising children in the right manner. They will slip through the cracks. Little children will slip through the cracks and you will not raise them for life. You will raise them for death. Or rather, you let them go towards death. Their nature is fallen anyway. If you will not have a focused mind due to being in the moment. So this is why this principle is a permeating principle. And it is of utmost importance. This is something that I'm personally working on. It's something that I've really had to work on and I feel I've made some progress and I still think I have a long way to go. But it has been helping me. In fact, the hurried way, it has never worked, truly worked for me. And now the more I try it, it's like the less it works. I mean, there are times, there's a time and a place, for example, if I'm washing dishes or if I'm cleaning and it's something simple where I don't need to remember anything, I can go fast and get it done fast. But, you know, if I go slow, maybe ideas will come to me. When the mind is more relaxed, maybe more ideas will come. 
But anyway, I'm saying, or if you have to hurry somewhere, yeah, you have to move a little faster. You have to take a shower, get dressed, get ready if everything is prepared before, before, beforehand. But most of the time, I say, if not all the time, we're best off if we are slow. And if we take the time to just be in the moment so that we can remember everything and relate to everybody because people are so hurried that they're not taking time to treat people with divine love because we're created for divine love. And they're not taking the time to treat others because they're not treating themselves like that. Because everyone is so busy trying to work and to pay their bills that hardly anyone is seeking first the kingdom of God. I mean, even while you are doing stuff, you can, but I say, sit down and just talk to God. I mean, it can take five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes. Five minutes is too little. I say, you know, I don't know how, like, it's cutting corners. We really need to take time out for the Lord. We're taking it for us. We're taking it for us. So yes, we need to slow down to focus. Take time to listen to people, validate them, seek to understand where they're coming from and discern what God is revealing to us about them and their life, their life's purpose and encourage, speak a truth. Encourage them into something and if they don't want to go into it, okay, let them find their own way. Support them if they're not doing anything, you know, wrong, if it's not morally wrong, encourage them. But we need to find, we need to let them find their own way. But we need to slow down to listen to them. And to listen to our heart, to search our own heart. It's, I've talked about that before. Alright, so I will end here. Definitely slow down so we can focus, so we can pay attention to things. And when we slow down, sometimes God called me to spend time with Him. And I thought it was just to spend time with Him. It always has a purpose. It wasn't just to connect and to enjoy being with him. He actually wanted to prepare me, I realized, for what was going to come in the next half an hour. Or one hour, one hour and a half in the future. And I'm like, oh, what a fool I am. I didn't take that time. I delayed it. And, and then I realized, oh. And then he revealed it to me later. But if I would have come when he called me, this was like maybe a few months ago. I don't remember the, exactly what he was preparing. But if he would have come then, he would I would have been better prepared. For what was going to happen if, like, you know, an hour and a half later when I would have met with someone or I would have met my parents or something like that. Or you, you meet, a, you know, you have a, a meeting with a friend or you, you, you don't know, you could be out and about and before you leave your home, the Lord could call you to spend time with Him, to just meditate. And it's like, you're in a hurry, no, I don't have time for you now. You do not know that half an hour later, you could be standing in front of someone and God would have given you an opportunity to witness. And if you didn't take that time with the Lord before you left your home, you're not prepared. And, it, and because you haven't taken time to do the being, to just be with God and His divine love and you receive His divine love and forgiveness, you're not able to pass on as much being and you're talking more doing than being. So then, we miss it. <laughs> yeah. It's so important. Let me know what you think. We're just growing. We're stretching. We want to find more truth. It's okay. We have the right to search and to find our way. There's no wrong. It's just a continual searching and finding. And if we don't allow ourselves to make mistakes, then we are going to be too stressed. And the greatest mistake is to not do anything. Inevitably, when you're going to start walking because you have a fallen nature, you're going to make mistakes. You correct course as a go. It's a continual moment-by-moment moment correction. And it's okay. It's okay. We have to begin somewhere and allow for mistakes, knowing that they're not evil mistakes. They're just, I mean, the mistakes of being fallen, of having a fallen nature, not being divinely perfect as he is. And then we can correct course as we go. But we have to slow down. 
so that we can focus and receive from the Lord and treat one another as He treats us. Strive. It's a continual striving. We can have a fallen nature and still strive for divine love and it's okay to not be perfect. What God wants from us, I truly believe this, is to have our heart open to Him, to receive His correction and to do our part, trusting in Him, humbling ourselves before Him, crying out to Him for help, but to do our part to, to be humble and compassionate and patient and do our part to walk this walk in the best way, in the divine love. And He will work in us and through us. And we're able to do so much better than if we wouldn't do this exercise. Right? Just try it out and you'll see. It definitely works. It worked for me. It works for everybody that tries it. Alright. I'm glad you're watching. So leave a comment or anything that you like. And um, let me know what you think about this. Or if anything you want to add. If you feel I've missed anything, just share your thoughts. Be blessed and take care of yourself. I hope you're well wherever you are in the world, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, or night. All right, see you later.